has her pictograms form part of the globally harmonized system of classification and labeling of chemicals, GHS. Two sets of pictograms are included within the GHS, one for the labeling of containers and for workplace hazard warnings, and a second for use during the transport of dangerous goods. Either one, or the other is chosen, depending on the target audience, but the two are not used together. The two sets of pictograms use the same symbols for the same hazards, although certain symbols are not required for transport pictograms. Transport pictograms come in wider variety of colors and may contain additional information such as a subcategory number. Hazard pictograms are one of the key elements for the labeling of containers under the GHS, along with an identification of the product, a signal word either danger or warning, where necessary, hazard statements indicating the nature and degree of the risks posed by the product, precautionary statements indicating how the product should be handled to minimize risks to the user as well as to other people and the general environment. The identity of the supplier who might be a manufacturer or importer. The GHS chemical hazard pictograms are intended to provide the basis for or to replace national systems of hazard pictograms. It has still been implemented by the European Union CLP regulation in 2009. The GHS transport pictograms are the same as those recommended in the IN recommendations on the transport of dangerous goods, widely implemented in national regulations such as the U.S. Federal Hazardous Materials Transportation Law, 49 U.S.C. 5101-5128, and DOT regulations at 49 CFR 100-185.